Hi guys, today I'm going to combine my balloon rolls and decoclamania to make a beautiful painting like this, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so the first thing is I want to thank my patrons. Your support means the world to me. Without your support, I couldn't keep making this uh, content here and on Instagram. And if you guys haven't followed me lately, I'm doing some really cool live Instagram interviews like we did Sarah Taylor's Pearls of Wisdom. It was an amazing art chat. Um, I did this one with Lam and she talked about healing and art. It was very spiritual. <laughs> and of course, a Sandra Lett sharing her 25 years of experience being a full-time artist. That was a great one. Isn't she a cutie? And next I have Julie Vatcher coming. That's on August 21st, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live on Instagram. So you should come join us. They're a lot of fun, you guys. Now, Deco Comania. See if you can say it. Deco Comania. What is it? It's a technique used by artists which involves pressing paint between sheets of paper. And this is not new. Some of you might know it as the ink blot tests. Remember those psychology tests where they put the ink down and then they fold the paper and they ask you what you see. Oh, do you see? Like I see a bat right there or a butterfly or whatever it is. And so that's how you might recognize it. But a lot of surrealist uh, artists use it too. And like this is Oscar Dominguez's work and this is from 1936. So this is not a new technique. Uh, Max Ernst is famous for using it. And this is, I did not create this technique. Obviously this has been used throughout time. The reason I started trying to use it is because my arm hurts. I have a little rotator cuff tear. So I've been trying to figure out what I can do to still create art even though I'm injured. So I'm going to use the 12 by 12 craft plastic by Graphics Opaque White. You get some really beautiful effects. You can see this one just has some balloon rolls on it. I was just playing around and I decided just to keep going with this one. It wasn't my favorite. And that's the thing about this. You just can play and play and play. They're quite addicting. Now the paints I used, gold and fluid acrylics and high flow global high flow, the Arteza iridescent paints, Arteza premix pouring paints, and the deco art paints. Now the thing about it is, these are all straight from the bottle, you guys. I didn't do any paint mixing. None. No, no mixing. You heard me. I didn't mix anything. And, and the mixing is the part that really has, you know, hurts my arm. So I think that um, if, you know, if you have an injury and you have limited time to paint or limited energy to paint, this might be an option just to try. Now, at first it doesn't look like much, but I'm telling you the there are all kinds of just delicious details that come out after you uh, do these and the folds you can put the folds anywhere and I'll go more into that in a second but look I just highlighted some of the details after these had dried now these are not enhanced at all that's just the details they're just amazing look at all the beautiful dendrites that form all kinds <laughs> Of beautiful visuals look a chalice appeared in this one I was just amazed it's just such a fascinating type of art and I'm gonna show you another one here in just a second there's so many ways to approach these a few little tips and tricks I've learned um, for example is if you want to create some negative space use the same color as your paper so that way you still get the beautiful dendrite fractal look and you'll you'll still get that effect but you actually won't get any color in those areas so if you use a white 
paper like this, uh, craft plastic, then I use white when I want to either make a highlight of something or uh, bring out some negative space. So in this case, I'm putting white in the center. Now all those other paints you see, those are golden fluids straight from the bottle. And that's a global high flow paint that I used. I, that paint is so pretty and it just has, a, it's a sea foam color and I really have enjoyed using those. Now look, it uses very little paint, but golden paints dry so shiny and so beautiful. Um, and coupled with this craft plastic, it really has a really pretty look to it. Now that's a high flow copper, and then the white I'm using is Artist Loft mixed with a little bit of satin enamels just for that interesting little you know, extra thing, you know what satin enamels does, it makes that kind of cloudy look. And everywhere that you draw your hand across the paper, it creates a pattern. And I noticed that it just depends on, you know, what you do. Oh, is that so pretty? It's already so pretty. <laughs> I'm just constantly amazed. Now this is kind of a messy process too. Um, I found that squishing the paint all the way out to the very edge is one way to get a lot of those uh, beautiful dendrite uh, fractal look that they look like vines almost, just that very organic look. But you know, I, I haven't quite figured out how to keep all of the back clean. Um, my hands get very dirty. It is kind of, I have to chain the gloves quite a few times in this process. But uh, one thing I did start to do is tape the edges. So I started putting tape in as a border around the edges when I'm not feeling lazy. And then when I take that off, um, it leaves a nice clean edge. Now, you see me showing you some fluorescent paint, something I've never on my channel ever, ever, ever done before. Never have I used fluorescent paint. But I just had this laying around. It's a pre-mixed pouring paint. I thought, what the heck, I'm just gonna try it. And then I pop a little bit more of that nickel azo gold on there. The combination of those two, I'm hoping, is gonna make for some interesting highlights and that's my plan right here oh, it's just so fun to watch I love seeing you know everything that appears and then I thought I'm gonna add some of my balloon rolls because there's a lot of interest but I could see where my balloon uh, would really add some depth and movement to that. So I just add a little bit of, uh, I think that's Thalo Turquoise Goldens and some white. And then I just start doing my little balloon roll thing. Now, it may not look like much right now. And I think that can be the thing that's off-putting for some people. Um, it looks kind of messy. But there is a magic that happens in these pieces, especially when they dry. Just trying to show you all of the little details. So maybe this piece as a whole is not my favorite. So what I ended up doing, you guys, was I broke it into four pieces, four equal pieces, and look what happened. Look at how beautiful. I got four gorgeous, pieces with stunning movement. Look at all the details. And this one that looks like a cow, maybe. <laughs> all from that piece right there. Now you can kind of see where I where those came from. And then I let them dry. They dry so fast. And that's the other thing is if you are wanting to embellish them, which I end up doing quite a bit on these, they will be able to be embellished within a day. They dry uh, easily overnight. And uh, for me, even in a moist environment, they dried probably within about four or five hours. So. 
they're really a fast um, process too. You just have to be free with it. Just allow yourself to be really free and just figure out what looks appealing to your eye because this is really about you. For me, I just had so much joy creating something, even though I haven't been feeling the best with my arm, but I really want to make art now. I decided to put this plastic piece over the top so you can kind of see what happens. At least once we'll get a good view of what happens underneath there. And the thing about using the plastic, it's kind of like a reverse dip basically. Or no, well, yeah, a reverse dip. Um, but you don't get the symmetry. And the symmetry meaning from folding the paper in half, you're not getting that that same on either side. And that kind of, that symmetry does make it really interesting. But I could see where this process would also be really satisfying. Look at how pretty. It's been a while since I did something where I really felt, um, just <laughs> enthralled to do it over and over and over and over and I really couldn't stop and that's kind of how this piece is for me this technique this decalcomania and this is considered fluid art um, you can use any soft body paint that you'd like to use and here's the other cool part about it if you don't like something just start adding paint it's just almost like a a recipe <laughs> you know you're making something and you just it needs a little bit of garlic and then it needs a little bit of salt and then you add some sh a pinch of maple syrup or, sh or a pinch of sugar and a little bit of maple syrup or something uh, you get all the elements going I kind of feel like this is the same way is maybe if you don't like something you can also just try it just try it out what's the worst can happen it's a piece of paper and graphics is really really reasonable. I think you can get 25 sheets in my Amazon shop for um, less than a dollar a sheet. So <laughs> you can see I'm having trouble getting that off of there. But even that caused a little movement over in that corner. This one maybe not not my favorite yet. Um, I thought, well, I'll do some balloon rolls over the top of that and see if I can get something going on. You know, one thing is, um, like I did with the last one, you can pull out some details if there's a piece of that painting that you really like. You can also use like a little a matte frame to kind of, you know, make your eye go somewhere specific, I guess, and that's another possibility. Look at all the beautiful details that you get. Once you get close up, these are kind of difficult to photograph. I find that showing a video is you know, way more engaging. So I started putting my little embellishments, like look at this guy, this man just appeared to me out of nowhere. And so I turned him into this cool dude. <laughs> and then this face just came out of nowhere, kind of a ghostly face, perfectly formed in my opinion. And so I just used my white gel pens from Arteza and also just a brush and I started trying to figure out how to embellish some of these to bring out all the beautiful little dendrite fractals that are showing up. If you like what you're seeing here, please share and subscribe to this channel. 
and you can also shop my Amazon store. That's a great way to support the arts. You can be a patron of the arts like the other superstars by donating to this channel. Even small donations help and that brings more content like this to you. I put all these in some frames. You can see how great they look with a wooden and glass frame. And you know, the embellishments, each one is just so unique. I feel like there's so many possibilities with each one of these paintings. They all have a flavor and a style all their own. And this is just a really, really fun project that anyone can do and you can take them whatever direction you want. Like this one, I really had no idea what I was gonna do, but I ended up creating this beautiful piece with vines and, and flowers and branches and a beautiful uh, flower in the center. Just use your ma imagination, have fun, relax and enjoy so happy painting to all of you can't wait to see you soon and thanks so much for joining me here bye bye don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so i can make more art videos just for you